Since the Industrial Revolution and even before, people have been creating, inventing, and building machines in the hope of making our lives easier and to increase productivity as well as profit. Today, we look at some monsters that have been built over the years. Number 18, Tesmec M5 Mechanical Trencher. This is the largest torque converter from Tesmec, which boasts 440 horsepower and has an industry-leading high chain pull teamed up with very low chain speed. This beast is used to trench through highly abrasive, rocky conditions. It's basically a giant chainsaw on wheels and makes huge openings in the earth, usually for the purpose of laying pipes. This machine can dig to depths of 24 feet and 5 feet wide. There are other companies that make similar models, like Vermeer, who makes a model that can dig 18 feet trenches that are 4 feet wide. As impressive as what it looks, it won't actually cut through solid rock. Number 17. Bagger 288 Up until 1995, the Bagger 288 was the biggest bucket wheel excavator in the world. It was built in 1978 by the German Krupp and is 720 feet long and 315 feet wide and weighs 31 million pounds. This mighty piece of equipment took five years to design and a further five years to build at a cost of $100 million. The purpose of the Bagger 288 was to remove overburden before coal mining could take place at the Hambach Strip Mine in Germany. It was able to excavate 240,000 tons of coal a day. Apparently, it scooped up quite a few unsuspecting bulldozers too. The machine made a three-week journey when this particular job was finished to Tagebau Garzweiler, and it cost $15 million German marks just to prove it. The machine made a three-week journey when this particular job was finished to Tagebau Garzweiler, and it cost 15 million German marks just to move it. They said it was more affordable to pay the money than stripping it and moving it piece by piece. Number 16. Liebherr T282B Welcome the world's largest, highest payload capacity haul truck, the Liebherr T282B. This monster truck was designed in 2004 and can carry around 400 tons at speeds of up to 40 miles an hour. Designed by Francis Bartley, this truck is generally used in the USA and South Africa, Chile, Indonesia, and Australia for things like coal, copper, gold, and iron. They cost anything from $3 million and higher, and only 75 of them are made each year. Number 15. World's Largest Tunneling Machine Completed in 2013, let us introduce you to the world's largest tunneling machine, aka Big Bertha. Big Bertha was built for one purpose, and that was to assist in the replacement of the Alaskan Way Viaduct in Seattle. She's 57 feet in diameter and is five stories high. Made by Hitachi Sozen Sakai Works in Osaka, Japan, she was assembled in Seattle and weighed 7,000 tons. Work on the viaduct began in July of 2013, but less than six months later, the project grew to a halt. Why? Well, all the engineers said was that they ran into an object which they couldn't get through. The machine can get through rock, soil, and debris, but a steel pipe 8 inches in diameter was enough to put this monster machine to rest. Number 14. The Bell AZ 75710 this is officially the biggest dump truck in the world, with a price tag to match. At $6 million, you'll be getting a beast that weighs 360 tons and can haul a load of up to 450 tons. Manufactured by Bel AZ in Belarus, this machine has two diesel engines. It also boasts two 16-cylinder engines, giving the vehicle 13,738 pounds of torque. The fastest this dump truck can travel is 25 miles an hour, and of course, with that price tag, there are the little extras like an onboard tire inflation control system, video surveillance, air con, sound insulation, and more. It holds the official Guinness World Record for being the largest dump truck in the world. Number 13. Queen of the Netherlands, aka the world's largest vacuum cleaner. This is a trailing suction hopper dredging ship, and the drag head alone is 20 feet wide. This ship was built in 1998 and can dredge up to 377 feet deep. It's the largest hopper in the world and has worked on some very prominent cases, for example, assisting with the investigation into the Swiss Air Flight 111 crash, and it assisted in the Port Phillip Channel Deepening Project. Number 12. A Rock Wheel What you're looking at is basically a giant circular saw on treads, and it's able to slice through concrete, asphalt, and solid rock, and can cut trenches like a hot knife through butter. These machines are also called trenchers for their obvious ability to dig trenches. You get different types of trenchers, like the rock wheel we just mentioned, or the chain trencher, wheel, micro trencher, and the portable trencher. Interesting to note, the wheel trencher is the most affordable trencher to operate and maintain, and is able to cut harder ground than all the other types of trenchers. Number 11. The Akko Super Bulldozer It's time to come face to face with the largest and most powerful bulldozer ever to be built. Using mainly caterpillar parts, this machine was manufactured by Akko for Libya in 1980 to assist with land development. 
Time to talk numbers. It's 40 feet long, has a 23.9 feet blade, and two 675 horsepower Caterpillar engines, and it weighs 183 tons. This beast never made it to Libya. At the time, their president was Colonel Gaddafi, so the UN saw to it that trade embargoes were implemented in Libya and the machine went into storage. There it stayed for 30 years, but it is now being stored at a garden facility with the intention of displaying it one day. Number 10. A Yarn Spinner It was the invention of the spinning jenny in 1764 that revolutionized the clothing and textile industry. This small but mighty piece of equipment was hauled as an extreme industrial machine in its day, and it's thanks to James Hargreaves that this ended up as one of the most useful inventions during the Industrial Revolution. Number 9. A Forage Harvester this impressive looking machine has one simple function, and that's to forage plants to make silage. Silage is chopped up grass or corn, which is compacted together and stored in a silo. Once it's fermented, it's used to feed the animals. Like many of our earlier entries, you do get different designs and sizes of these machines, but their goal is all the same at the end of the day. A forage harvester can be attached to a tractor or it can be self-propelled. Number 8. Shoyola Self-Propelled Modular Transporter This unusual piece of machinery is capable of big things. It's a chain of connected computer-controlled wheels capable of carrying 15,000 tons. Shoyola developed this idea in the 1980s, and it certainly paid off. These days, anything heavier than 3,000 tons is usually carried on this contraption. They carry anything from portions of spaceships, pieces of ships, cement tunneling, motors, and anything else you can think of that weighs up to 15,000 tons. Number 7. Cockham's Tears of Malmo Crane A strange name for a crane, we know, but there's a reason why the Cockham's Crane has also become known as Tears of Malmo. This crane became quite the legend in Malmo, and a large number of people used to head to Malmo just to view it. The crane stood at 453 feet and was able to lift thousands of tons. Financial strains hit the Cockham's shipyard, and it closed in the mid-80s, meaning the crane was no longer in use. They eventually sold the crane in the early 90s to a Danish company, who too went bankrupt, and they in turn sold the crane for a dollar. Yep, a dollar, to the South Koreans, only for it to be dismantled a few years later by a British company. So, now you understand why it's called the Tears of Malmo. Number 6. Continuous Miner Unlike what we humans are capable of, this continuous miner does what its name suggests. It mines all the time. The ginormous spinning wheel spins all the time, knocking the coals loose. Then the coal is scooped onto the ramp below and is pushed onto a conveyor belt behind the machine and then released out the back of the machine onto a waiting car, which then removes it from the mine. Having said that, the machine does have a break occasionally, like when it has to wait for the car to return to collect the next load of coal. But we guarantee you, it's not long before it gets going again. Number 5. Caterpillar 797 The Caterpillar 797 is a range of off-highway mechanical haul trucks that were manufactured in the U.S. These trucks are 50 feet long, 24 feet tall, 51 feet raised, and 31 feet wide and the Caterpillar's largest and highest capacity haul trucks. The latest model has a load capacity of 393 tons. Each truck can be modified to each buyer's requirements, but the general going price of a Caterpillar 797 is $5 million, and each truck has a service life of 21 years. Number 4. Big Musky This machine eats mountains for breakfast. It's the Big Musky Excavator, owned by the Central Ohio Coal Company. This monster's dimensions are 151 feet wide, 222 feet tall, and 487 feet long, and it weighs 295 tons. Its bucket alone was 220 cubic yards, and it was the largest single bucket digging machine ever made. It took 200,000 hours to build over the course of two years. Number 3. Tyson Gantry Crane This is a world record holder. The Tyson Gantry Crane is officially the biggest in the world, and it's a fixed dual-beam gantry train. It's owned by Yantai Raffles Shipyard Limited, and it has a lifting capacity of 20,000 metric tons. It's based in China, and it was projected to cut 2 million working hours in the future, and it broke the world record by lifting 20,133 metric tons on April 18th in 2008, Number 2. The Walking Harvester This insane machine looks a bit like a giant walking spider, when in truth it's just a lumberjack. It's quite a challenge for certain logging machinery to reach every spot where trees need to be cut, so this plus tech timberjack walking harvester is the answer to that problem. This machine is able to cross terrain that other machines are not able to, but having said that, it is just a prototype at this stage, but there's definitely a spot for this in the not too distant future. Number 1. Bucket Wheel Excavator 
There are many different sized bucket wheel excavators, but the biggest one in the world is located at Bogatir Mine in Kazakhstan. This monster of a saw needs 27 men to operate it, and it's capable of retrieving 4,500 tons of coal in 60 minutes. To build one of these machines costs $66 million, and they weigh 45,000 tons. As is expected, it can slice through anything, but it particularly loves mountains made from coal. The diameter spans the length of a four-story building, and it can only travel one mile every three hours. You'll just have to believe us when we tell you it's absolutely massive. Which of these incredible pieces of machinery would you most like to see in person? Let us know in the comments below and subscribe to our channel for more daily videos. Thanks for watching.